Hey there, stampers. It's uh, the Cape Cod Cowboy <laughs> Creates, right? Something like that. Uh, I'm doing the video all by myself tonight. That's right, because uh, Jen's a little out of commission. She had a tooth pulled today. So I get to create a card for you guys, um, seeing it's going to be Mother's Day. And yeah, I always get the guilt trip of, or my mom had put a post on Facebook years ago or not years ago, I guess, a little while ago, um, of how she remembers when we were in school and we'd bring home the handmade cards and a flower and, oh, how wonderful it was. Well, that year I, I purposely went out. I found a clay um, sort of vase with a flower in it, and I made a with some um, construction paper a card and did it with the kids' crayons, and I made her a card and I put it on her counter because, of course, she wasn't home. Um, just because that's the type of person I am. So I'm going to create a Mother's Day card uh, for you guys uh, with some of the new products that we've got. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll see how well I do this. It'll be great. All right. Well, let's get you switched over to the other camera here. And there we go. See, I already cut out Mom because actually in this new catalog or – that we've seen so far there isn't a bundle or something for mother's day so i kind of pulled together some old stuff and some new stuff and made the card myself so um i'm actually i'll show you guys the finished product um i know jen doesn't always do that for you guys but this is what it looked like when i when i got all done but we'll go over exactly what i did a little saying on the inside so uh, the bundle I used, actually, let me uh, get to the right one. What is this? This is Spotlight on Nature um, is the bundle I was going to use, which has uh, some dyes that come with this as well. Um, I used the butterfly out of this, and I was going to use these flowers, but I kind of cheated. And what I ended up doing is I used... Um, uh, now I got to remember what is this thoughtful journey, thoughtful journey bundle, um, which is kind of paper. Um, it's paper, sorry. Um, that it is a bundle, but we don't have it. <laughs> um, that's uh, watercolor. Um, so I kind of went through this and found something that I would like that you would see a butterfly kind of floating around in it, and so that's what I did. I mean, it, this has some really great, and I actually when. When I first looked at this, I did want to try to do something with these. Um, and so I got to do the Mother's Day card with it. So um, along with, oh, yeah, so the Spotlight in, of Nature, um, these are the dyes that actually, it, or, sorry, yeah, dyes that um, it comes with. These are circle dyes, um, so you can make different size circles, which I did here, um, which I'll show you guys. Um, comes out really neat. Um, that was the one I used. So, so I used that along with the, the butterfly. There is no dye for the butterfly, so I had to fussy cut this. So I already went ahead and did that um, because I wasn't going to do that on the video because that wasn't too bad to actually cut out. Um, but there is a technique here for the, um, for the letters for the mom, um, which I used a different dye set, which actually is the... Um, Alphabet a la mode. All right. Okay. Like All alphabet right. a la mode, but it's alphabet a la mode. Um, okay. It doesn't say that on there. Okay. It doesn't? Oh, down there. Look at that in little words. Yeah. Like I'm going to see that. Um, so I use this to cut out the mom, but what I did, um, what Jen had me try, in which I'm probably going to come back and do some videos for you guys on um, beginner card making um, to kind of, because I'm new at this, I'm doing my best to learn some of this stuff, the right measurements and so on. So um, Jen said she's not up for really teaching starting from scratch. Um so I figured I, I'd do some of those, seeing I'm learning. So I'll learn along with you guys and learn some new techniques. So what I ended up doing is I used this foam um, foam adhesive on the back side of the, the card stock. And 
die cut these out, the the mom letters that see that was my first attempt. Um, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to attach it to the card. So Jen said, oh, I'll show you a new technique on how to do that. So we're going to do that. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. And then. One thing to know about these dies, too. Oh, thanks. Especially for those of you that are scrapbookers. Um, what I really like is you've got double of the vowels. So that even like the more commonly used letters, you've got du duplicates. So that makes it easier to cut out like sayings and things because you don't have to run it through as many times you can do double a's or double e's or whatever at the same time okay well that's interesting and nice to know and then on my oh wait i almost lost my butterfly over here see that i already cut them out all set to go which jen was a little worried because i used peach pie cardstock um and I, as you can see i didn't use that anywhere else on the card but it blended in really well because i mean it's a butterfly they're supposed to be a uh, orangey color right sure so your card. that's right she let me i completely designed this one um without any of her input um, it's for his mom so why would i have input <laughs> so i totally did this um this was uh again i i sat down i put it together and this is what we ended up with so um, the sayings I did, uh, sayings, uh, yeah, oh, they're both from this one. Mm -hmm. So this is a, um, old stamp, or older stamp set, but it's still. It was from the available. last catalog, yeah. Last catalog. Um, so I used a couple of the sayings out of this, because again, didn't see, unless it's in the new catalog and I haven't come across it, on uh, a Mother's Day, um, set for you to use. So like I said, I had to pull from couple different things to come up with this so that's where I got my stamps from so let's get started here um, so again I used uh, shy shamrock for my base um, which is at five and a half by four and a quarter or foot by eight and a half so by, by four. Oh, sorry yeah yeah see again I'm still learning this I'm getting there um, Again, scored uh, four and a quarter. Sorry. So, yeah, five and a half by eight and a half by, and then the fold at four and a quarter. Correct. So, <clears throat> see, there we go. We're working on it. So, my insert, that is um, four by five and a quarter, um, which I also cut my um, the backing here. Um, out of pretty and pink um, at the same size to give me a little bit of the border as well. So, again, some of the stuff I already cut out, so that would make this go a little easier um, and a little faster. So, with that, we'll set this stuff aside for now because this is the, yeah, before I lose the butterfly. So, this is the piece of paper I used. Um, I kind of liked it because it had the flowers just like it did in the stamp set. See, I, I wanted to use this flower, but I was really trying to figure out how I could do it a couple times. Maybe when I start learning how to stamp a little better, I'll have a better idea. But so I cheated. So as you can see, these flowers kind of same as these to give me a fast, quick, easy way of doing this. So I cut this down to. Um, three and three quarters by four five by five see that I, I was close i'm getting i'm getting some prompts from from the peanut gallery over here so um of course i wanted these longer flowers so that's what i stuck with so um what did i just say for numbers four no three and three quarters three Sorry. and three quarters Sorry. all right so three and three quarters we're gonna go here like that and then we're gonna go by five correct mm -hmm. all right and i took off the ground because butterfly flies in the air so we're gonna go that way so there is our base and all i did is i simply taped this down so we'll do that real quick here uh, trying to move 
quickly because I got yelled at because I, I, I took too much time on one of my other videos. So. You make me sound like this ogre. <laughs> well, see, it's the things that happen <laughs> off camera that they don't get to see. Wow. <laughs> No, she's not. She's she's quite helpful and quite good at teaching. So there we go. Oh, look at that. I actually rushing through it, and I actually got this better than I did this one. But here's the thing. I'm going to give this one to my mom, and that way the little um, being off just that little bit goes to show that I did this myself, you know. <laughs> so you're going to get the actual, the really nice one. So... With this, I um, I did pop this up. So dimensionals, dimensionals, the big dimensionals, right? Because we like the big dimensionals, you know, for the big fingers. Because the little ones are just a pain in the rear. They come in handy sometimes. And sometimes for Small when you're pieces. getting into the delicate stuff. But yes, big dimensionals are easier. So, and waste not, want not. So, which is good because I use, I, I end up... <laughs> On Jen, I, I love to keep finding her scrap paper when I'm designing because I don't want to use a whole piece of paper if I don't have to, which I'll show you guys. My uh, my butterflies, that was scrap from something else. So, and then, so with the dimensionals, we're just going to stick that on onto the card here. Let's see how well I do on this one here. Or am I off? Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, a little high. Not too bad. We're there. We're getting there. Right? I'm, I'm mm -hmm. Keep it in frame would be helpful, yep. right? <laughs> so there we go. So there's the base of our card. So now we got to die cut this. Butterfly is all done. So actually that easy enough. This just gets a couple dimensionals on the back. And we float him over a uh, flower. And then we'll get into cutting out the mom so let's uh i'm gonna put the butterfly aside because i want to get the other stuff cut out first and get those set and then we'll put our butterfly in place so we are going to die cut first so again so here's the trick we're gonna do because see again see scrap paper to um we'll use this to cut out our circle and then this here, um, we've got to put the foam on. So let's do the circle first. We'll get that cut out. And then I'll show you guys how to do that piece. So thank you, Vanna. <laughs> so let's get that on there. It's nice. Don't use up those scrap paper. That's that's a beautiful little one. All right. And that comes up. Big thing that I found is yeah, you're going to have to punch out all the little um, pieces afterwards just to clean up your die. But it does cut it out very nicely, though. Gives you a nice circle to, with some design to it. All right. All right. So that's that piece. And we'll get into the stamps and stuff afterwards that way we don't get ink all over everything so we're doing the uh the letters um because we got to roll this back and forth a couple times to get it fully cut all the way through which is fun because unlike the vowels the the consonant constant 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 yeah I, <clears throat> they only come one so i have to you know you have to cut the m twice so with using this um foam backer um you want to cut it smaller than your card stock stock Ugh. the words are not coming to me so let's cut this down a little bit to fit it on here so we're going to do that cut this down right so it's just a little bit smaller than the card stock which makes it easier so that way you're not sticking to everything. So then what's nice is this is double ad adhesive on both sides. So we're going to unstick, take it off one side, and then we're going to just stick it on the back of the cardstock. doesn't matter how it goes because 
what's going to matter is when we cut our letters, right? So, back to, <laughs> thank you, Vanna. Uh, again, um, I had asked this, I guess I had asked this question um, once before, but it was on the video that my wife gouged me. <laughs> and we didn't end up actually showing you guys because there was too much blood. It was gory. No, that's <laughs> not why we ended that video. <laughs> no, there's other reasons, but um, I ran out of space on my phone. Yes, so we I uh, explain that a little bit. I went to point to something and I like hit him with my nail. And that was on this hand. So yeah, it, it's still, still there. there. Gouged him and he was bleeding. I was bleeding. Mm. So, anyways, so again, um, so I put my letters on. I'm going to send this through once, and then I'm going to go back again. Sorry for the shaking. And then I'm going to do it actually one more time because I found it really does, because you're you're trying to cut through all of that. You're, you're cutting not only the cardstock, but the foam as well. So it's good to really cut it through because, as you'll see, it's... It'll work. It works. It comes out and maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Come yeah, on. It's good. Did it? It's not. It's in. Uh, we cut all the way through. We just got to kind of gently pull those little yeah. triangle pieces out. Gently. As my big fingers are going at it here. We're getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just don't oh. rip the end. All right, I am so, all right, so let's, here we go, here we go. There we go. And, Easy. and, and, there, there it is. Go. All right, so there's our one M. All right, all right, we'll set that aside for it this second, maybe. Um, and then our O, that actually came out a whole lot nicer. It's already, you know, Problem is, is that the backing already comes off. So make sure you don't sit this down the wrong direction. Otherwise, it'll stick to things you don't want it to. So I'm done with the O. So that can get put back away. And we're going to do another M. All right. So let's do that. And we'll send this through three times. Maybe. Come on. There it's go. There we go. All right. Uh, once, twice, three times away. <laughs> it's just the same thing. That's me. Totally I, so again, um, back to what I started to say is that I had asked a question of what what gets you in the mood to stamp, or you know, because again, this the reason I'm doing this is because it's Mother's Day and my mom likes. And I see, that's the problem. It's it ends up. Um, it'll good. it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That's good. Um, <laughs> I remember that when I used tools in the garage. Uh, that'll be something when I actually <laughs> see you use one of the tools in my garage. You should have a new series of you teaching me how to fix cars, honey. Uh, all right. So there we go. So there's our other M. Boom. Just like so. And that's that's how it's done. So. Again, a neat little, so now, you know, instead of using tiny little dimensionals, um, you make self-adhesive your own lettering. And I will tell you, because I did not tell Nate, but in addition to the foam adhesive, so the, the foam pieces, we also have just flat sticker pieces. So if you wanted them to be sticky but flat, you could use the um, sticker adhesive sheets. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I get where you're going with that. I just like pop. And he had yes. mentioned he wanted that to pop, so that's why I, just I did. So, okay, so go back to my card here. See? It, they, it becomes really sticky. So I'll get rid of the rest of the backing off of here, maybe, as it sticks to my finger. All right? And I did it in an arch. I did. No, I didn't want to just put it straight across. I put it in a little bit of an arch. So we'll start off here. We'll put an M, right? Mm -hmm. If it'll get off my finger. Get off the finger. There it goes. 
M. Oh, see, I can spell. I really can't. Oh, I didn't arch this right well. A little off. I'm trying to pay attention to many things. And just mom. Just mom. You know, when you're young, it's mommy, and then it becomes ma. And if you're English, it's mum. My that was that was quite something when my brother when he uh, studied over in England he came back and that's how he addressed our mother is my mum he mum um so there we got that that part's done so now now we're gonna do some stamping some actual stamping so here's my insert and my little pink piece here so what I used is um. You know, just for you, mom. And what I used on this, on this part, I used black. Not on that part, on this part. I used black. And again, um, so the straight up and down technique, because I screwed up on, on this one, which, uh, yeah, this one, which you can't see because I had, what's nice when you screw up once, you always have the, the reverse side when it comes to white. So. Again, kind of straight up and down technique, right? And we're going to place that somewhere in the center, and boom, there we go. We're done. All right, so that's we'll step that off to the side. We're not using black anymore. And actually, on the inside, I use the uh, pretty in pink. Again, matchy, 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 as my wife likes to say. Um, so on this, on our insert, and then I use the hope you have, uh, no, hope your day is a happy one, right? Well, any day she gets to spend with me is a happy one. Just my own, I usually say that around my brothers, because you know, I am the youngest, and you know. So I just kind of somewhat in the center and just straight down again and straight up the first time i did this i rolled and ended up with a line this is Bad. why it's a good idea to to stamp before you adhere oh because then you could flip that yeah i get i get where she was going with that she didn't i didn't prep you sorry she did not prep me on that <laughs> i'm like I, I don't know where you're going with that what are you trying to say anyways so, yes, it is good. Same thing with this one, too. I mean, even if I screwed up on this one, I could always turn it over and stamp on the other side, right? So, but I didn't screw up this time. See that? I learned from my mistakes. All right. So, the insert is just a simple um, taping that down. Let's just... And we'll stick this in here, right? Something. Oh, that's not centered. That's not even close to center. <laughs> Oi. Right? Let's do something like this. No, it's still not. It's, well, it is what it is. There it is. Okay? Show me. It's pretty good. All right. See, so insert's done. This, we do dimensionals again. We do three of them, just so that way, as my wife likes to say, it stays even, and it won't flop over, and it pops, and it gives it dimension, and no, no strength. Sagging. Yeah, no sagging. And I'm not up for strength. So yeah. I'll pop all day long. I had no problem with that. So this I put up in the corner. Just like so. There. All right. Last but not least, where'd my butterfly? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thought I lost my butterfly. All right. So this, I only needed two on this one here. So just do this. 
So what I'm going to have to start doing is I'm going to have to take notes, which I won't show you guys because my handwriting is horrible. That's what I like about the stamping is that I don't have to write things. Um, and then, again, there's the flower. I'm going to make the butterfly hover around the flower. Just like so. But we're not done yet. No, no. No, I ended up, I'm like, oh, the card's a little bland, and I know my wife, and it's always, so I did use some bling. So this is iridescent pearls. Iridescent pearls. Um, just to give it a little bit of something. And then and she said, because it's your card. I don't care where you put them. Put them. So <laughs> I still don't think she was very happy on where I put them, but that's all right. We're going to do the same thing all over again. That's not the one I need. <laughs> That's not the tool. Where's the tool? She's hiding the tool on me. I am a tool. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did, you know, in between the mom, just to kind of give it that little bit of separation, right? Boom. And then I put a little one, little guy, eee, big little one, up there, just like so. So that. Is the card. See, just like that. And this one here. Let's see. Oh, she's got, got a pen. Got, no, yeah, that's a, a pencil. This one, that's a fine. Or actually, that's a pen. This is a pen. All right. See? And you guys get to watch. Here, I'll put. See his messy hand. Love. Me. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, I just do a plus sign. Plus. Well, that's silly. <laughs> That's silly. So you're supposed to do an and, right? Sure. Something like that? There you go. Good job. And Jen. See? See his writing My handwriting is horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. But I'm a guy. What do you want? All right? And that's it. That's that's the Mother's Day um, card. Uh, I don't know. Do we have any other samples to this? Do oh, we, we do. Have? Yeah, we oh, do. see that? I had to remind Vanna to, you know, get on her game. Oh, my goodness. So we had some uh, in her swap of the same uh, stamp set. It was a spotlight on nature bundle. So here was, oh, who made this was, one? This one is, was. It doesn't say, be, be creative stamping. Yeah. So oh, this is. actually Tammy Shia. Okay. Tammy of be creative stamping. Be creative. So they must have honeybees. Which is good. I like honeybees. Honeybees are fun. Um, what color is that, honey? This? Same color, color as yours. Yeah, it's shy, shy shamrock. Mm -hmm. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. And then it looks like she she colored in the flowers. So. She colored. Well, this is kind of cool. She colored it and then embossed it. So she and stamped, emboss emboss yeah. she stamped, colored, and then embossed. Embossed, yeah. Over it. So it gave it's it some neat. texture, which is nice. Oops, sorry. Yeah, okay. see? see? Nice. Lots and then I don't know what she... Those are those are those neat are the bling. color shimmer gems. Yeah, they're like flat. Oh no, they're not. They do stick up. They oh, do. This way they look we flat because those. of the little shimmers. But, oh, I used those on the bird cards we did. No, okay. Well, what do we this got one's here? from Rose Ward. She's my friend. She's in New York actually. So again, um little oh, she actually had um uh Winkestella. That's yeah. the word I wanted. See that? <laughs> look at that. Good job. See? Um, and she used the uh, Petunia Pop. Look yes. at that. I had, to, I had to think of it, but I do know the in, in colors. But And she embossed, and then she used the big, the bigger circles um, and layered it up. That came out really nice. She did a simple bow. She didn't have to wrap it around and try to tie it here. She obviously did that off screen and then stuck it on. And what we got? we got one more? It's from Danny Hecade from Germany. Wow. That's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. It's simple, um, but very. That works. Oh. And she even put in a stick it on the inside with her information. So, so that's it. So there you go. Those are those are the cards. Um, Using that spotlight on nature bundle. So, so yep. Yeah, so this. Spotlight on nature is these circle dies, which it comes with two different sets. So actually, it's the same thing, just the circles you you get the um, in different sizes. 
is what they did is yeah so, so you get like the um i want to say striped but they're like that way then you get the petals and then you get the what this reminds me of is on uh, the paper plates that you used to yes, get it does. that's what that reminds me of when i'm looking at that so um that's i think a wrap how bad did i go over on time oh i don't let's see 30 oh minutes, 30 honey. minutes look at that all right so back to us back to us there it is hey i got it so i will try to do some more of these with a little bit of teaching in it and i was uh, talking i was talking <laughs> i'm sorry you did good and good try job. not to have vanna around to make mm. fun of me <clears throat> anyways <laughs> well i'm glad you guys watched um and go uh, ahead and subscribe so what is, if you want to see more videos from nate or myself right and this is day what day, day nine nine day yeah. nine day yeah. nine yeah. of the videos of 15 for days covering for me today honey someone's got to step in might as well do it yep <laughs> bye guys thanks for watching see ya maybe